Motorsports cars in the top four. John West Townley gets a good jump. Landon Huffman spun his tires a bit. And the number 25 of Hessert is going to go hard into the wall as we get ready to restart. Four cars are piled up, including Landon Huffman and the number 98 of Quinton Bear. Five had anything to do with it, but here goes Hester. Oh, no, it's contact. Townley went right through the corner there. Yeah, John West plowed in there. Looks like that's what got Town, or excuse me, got the 25 of Hessert sideways. He rolls up in there, and look, Landon Huffman is on the high side and absolutely nowhere to go. The 22 of Weatherman, it appears, pushes the 98. Salem also has a win at Iowa on his ARCA resume. We can see that that inside line has gained about a car. Oh, trouble, trouble already. Through the trioval. 78 goes around. The 98, they're teammates. It's a big one at Daytona. It all started when the 78 of Cole Powell got turned sideways. I think about Greg Alding, Frank Kimmel, some of those drivers, Brett Hudson, would have started right in the middle of the pack, probably been collected, dropped to the rear, and I don't think any of them got any damage. Boy, it almost looked like there might have been a little bit of contact right there to turn that 78 sideways. If there would have been an opening down to the inside, he probably would have got away with it, but uh, not this early in the race. On no, board no with openings. Gustine. Cars behind her. Sean Corr, one of those that just missed oh, getting involved. Dylan Lupton as well on the AG car. And, and to the outside, they would love to get clear of him and do try to do something with Josh Williams. That's just two and a half laps to go. The spotters have got to be telling these guys. Oh, and Gerhard gets shuffled out. Arrow hard contact into the wall. The number 14 of Dustin Knowles really slams into the wall. Another car, two cars involved. Gerhard is junk. Mark Thompson, the 66 involved. So the yellow flag is going to come out here and the ARC officials are saying to us. Right there, that shoves that shoves Bobby down under the double yellow line. Now he's got to get back in position. It looks like maybe Dalton Sargent got into the 14 car and turned him around. Yeah, Dustin Knowles hit that wall very, very hard with the right front and a couple of times spinning around on the safer barrier. Yeah, I don't think it had anything to do with Bobby Gerhardt getting back out in line. It looks like maybe the 66 of Dalton Sargent just barely nudged the 14 of Knowles, put him in the outside wall. And when Gerhardt and Kurzievsky were side by side, that's what clipped the front end of Corbin Forrester, and Forrester goes down into the inside safer barrier. Here, let's take another look back behind that. Oh, See, no, Dalton that's... Sargent got turned into the inside wall. Bobby Gerhardt was just trying to go by on the inside. He got into the inside wall as, wall as well as the 66 of Sargent. Yeah, I apologize. That was. And we have had a major incident going down the back straightaway. Sarah Cornette Ching and her Dickies car number two has made significant contact with the inside safer barrier. This is where her ride was as leader Shane Lee was right next to her. Yeah, and he got into the quarter panel and as she brushed that outside wall, it was the big hit that happened down on the inside safer barrier that caused all of that damage to the front end of her Dickies Toyota. And that car, Jim, is absolutely junk in every part. Shane Lee to the outside, just the slightest amount of contact, got her sideways and watch this inside hit. That track gets so narrow off of turn number two that had been a problem spot with the old pavement. And here again, let's take it up right on board with Sarah. Going around another car a bit slower, trying to stay in her racing mode. And it would lead lap, and that's all it took right there. One touch God. for the left front fender of our race leader, Shane Lee, on the outside. Man, that was absolutely a wall. Look at Briscoe sideways. Briscoe racing it down through the corner, and there's a little contact as 799 of Cindric is going to do it. Michael Self will go by. Four or five cars going to go in, and there's his teammate. The number 22 is sideways, and it looks like Snyder's going to spin. Or Majeski does an amazing job getting by. Ash does. Oh! oh. Gus Dean made it through there, but it looks like the 10 and the 6 made contact, and that puts Weatherman hard in to that number 22 of Myatt Snyder. A lot of damage for Kyle Weatherman. Chase comes down a little bit. They make a little bit of contact. I loosens thought, up the 22 of Snyder. Boy, I thought he was going to be able to save it on that very first time, but then the car just got away. And as he goes up the racetrack, it appeared that Josh Williams must have made some contact with, oh, somebody. That looked might like have been, Brett Holmes. Yeah, the Brett 23 Holmes. car and the 10 of Weatherman got together. Some guys really did a nice job getting. Watch Majeski in that 17. He's going to turn hard right, completely miss Snyder. You see Mason Mitchell, the 98, Shane Lee going by on the inside. 
Gustine. Gustine all the way to the outside wall, into the outside wall to avoid running into the 22. Austin Sendrick missing Myatt, but there's the contact right there. Hard, hard hit for Kyle Weatherman. So Brett Holmes, there's Josh Williams. He comes rolling through on that initial shot going so fast. I thought he was right behind Weatherman, but he was able to miss that completely. But boy, heavy damage in every corner for car number 10. We're certainly thinking about Kyle Weatherman as he limped away from his race car to go to the ambulance.